To turn the controller on, it takes its power from the kiln, but there is an on-off switch underneath. And when it comes up, it will show you the thermocouple type and the um, type of control that it is, then show you the ambient temperature. Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate is the uh, ST3300 stroke two. We do other versions. We do the dash three and four and five, which all have different functions. Um, the 3302 has uh, 10 program memory with four segments in each program. The 3303 has 10 programs, but has 16 segments in each program. And to choose them, all you do is select the arrow facing right, which gives you the program number. When you press it again, it will give you the option of a delay time that you can choose in hours and minutes. Then a degrees per hour. Again, you can change up or down to a set point. Again, you can change up or down. And then you have the option of a hold at that point. And then you have the second segment in degrees per hour. Again, you can choose up or down. And your target temperature and the option of a hold there. Then you move on to segment three and it runs through the same way, degrees per hour to a set point with a hold. You can choose a, program, a, a segment four, which again, you choose a degrees per hour rate to a top temperature and the option of a hold. And then at the end, when it says end, that is the end of the program. And to run the program, all you do is press the reset button at the bottom, which gives you the ambient temperature, press it again, and the program will start. You'll get a little light showing that the kiln is heating. When the elements engage, then the light on the side will come on and it will just keep on showing you a constant display in the window of the temperature going up and coming down. If you want to stop the program at any time, you can pause it or just press the reset and that will stop it.